Uh, Gianna's not very happy with me right now. Man, this thing is just such a mess. <laughs> What's up, Logger Nuts? It is Locker Time. Bought this one for a dollar. <laughs> Gianna's really upset with me about this one. She is not happy. Let's get in and show you what it looks like. Spider webs. Okay, we like that. Dusty. We like that. Uh, right here, what's this? This looks to me like, I think, laser discs or something. All right, one of the first items pulled out, a garbage bag with what appears to be garbage, but this is a little jewelry box right here. No jewelry. Make sure nothing fell out inside. And then uh, this was in there. That's a little bit cooler. Lord of the Rings coloring book. This is old, 1979. I kind of like that. <laughs> this is such a lame cartoon, but uh, anything that old is still kind of cool. I, I did look through that bag a little bit, but right here, not a great start. Garbage, just garbage. But we will need those boxes for sorting. Oh, wow, look at this. Look at this, a bone right here. Human remains found in storage locker, mm hmm <laughs> A few shoes right here. We got Nike. We got Nike. Of course, we need a pair to play, right? Nike. Very good. We need two. I'm only seeing one. There's a one and a one. Oh, wow. No matches. This is crazy. This is a Converse. That's a nice shoe. It's huge, though. Uh, wow. How how many lockers do we find that have one single shoe? Oh, there's a match. The, the Converse. Okay, there's a little bit of hope. Those look kind of new, too. A little bit. Sort of. Tory Burch. Flip-flops. Well worn. See the heel on that's pretty worn. Tory Burch. It's a good brand. Uh, I'm not thinking this is a high end, expensive, uh, rich person's locker right here, though. All right, let me get some more of these. Oh, that's a Peugeot right here. Peugeot bike frame. That's decent. That's decent. What's this? Aggressor GT. I don't know. Had some stuffed animals, a couple board games, but then this Lippman credit card processing. Are these still something? I mean, I don't know. You got the terminal, you got the little receipt thingies. Tape right there, receipt tape. Um, Nurit 2085, let me look that up. Look at the comps over here. Uh, I didn't look at what's sold, I just look at what's listed. And mm -mm, $25 listed, open box. Okay, that will just pass that on to the market. All right. Oh, oh I was just looking at this uh, recliner here, which is an odd way to store your recliner. Oh, what, what do we got here, guys? What do we got here? Oops, <laughs> we got a safe. <laughs> and it's so open, unlocked, and empty. All right, well, that was a brief moment of excitement sponsored by Locker Nets and Sentry Safe. This right here in Easton, bat grip needs to be redone. Power Brigade, Brigade, Brigade. Looks kind of thrashed. I'll bring it to the market. I bet you that sells, though. And what else did I see? TV. Look at this thing. It's like a sled. That is a sled. Crichton. See it? Crichton. We'll get that out. Found a couple of uh, nicer clothes over there. We'll go through that later. But I pulled this out. Let's take a peek. All right. My Hero Academy. It's like a manga book right there. All right. That's, that's a little better. Oh, what is this? All right. PlayStation 3. It's in there. NHL 10. 2010. Okay. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, PS3. Okay. Things are looking a little better, guys. I'll be honest about that. It's looking a little better. PS3. PS3. Yeah. These aren't like, I don't think these are great games. PS3 is not like, that's not the video games you want to find, really. Oh, this is good. My Little Pony. A whole bunch of them in the, in the plastic bag. Put that aside. Oh, there's some more little miniature toys right here. This is also very good. We sell this kind of stuff in our live auctions. And that's the kind of stuff I'm looking for. Ooh, Country Bears, Disney. I think these are like um, McDonald giveaways, McDonald Happy Meal toys, I think. Ah, that's kind of interesting. Probably also Happy Meal. Some more little toys here. Oh, Fantastic Four, ha uh, Bird King. That's good, a little marble. Kid Robot. Oh, that's a Loot Crate item there, okay. Yes. Windsor Canadian. Okay, a little sewing kit. Little razor blades. Rusty. Alarm clock. Look at this, guys. Comic book. There's no cover on it, but still the fact that there's a comic book in here is interesting. Detective Comics 1993 on that, so probably some Batman going on in there. 
little soldering kit here. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. That'll sell. Well, this is good. Well, maybe. I mean, I don't know if it's good. Uh, 18 volt lithium iron ion Makita battery. That's the kind of drills that I use. I have the lithium ion, and uh, if that works. That's a three amp one. That's a pretty big one. If it works, if it holds a charge, you know. Ooh, what's this? Certificate of authenticity, Supergirl. Wait, wait, wait. Wait a second, guys. Are you guys thinking the same thing I am? Already, when I was pulling the stuff out of here, I was thinking to myself, this is like that junk lance locker I got earlier this year because uh, stuff is just falling down as I'm pulling it out. And that guy was into Supergirl, like really into Supergirl, like really, really into Supergirl. And I saw a lot more toys and comics in that one looking into the unit. Like you couldn't hide the... Well, actually, I mean, there's all these toys over here. Could this be the same guy? Yeah, and, and that's like really really unlikely but recently i bought the same locker from a guy i bought two years before this is not the same facility as the junk lanch but that one time i didn't buy it at the same facility either uh, i think when people burn a, a facility and go late and get evicted and whatever they just go to a different facility so it's it's not in the same town but it's not that far away either so i don't know could be 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 and right here we have some little coin uh, cases. No coins, just plastic cases. Okay, we got a, a Edward Scissorhands right there. Uh, some interesting stuff. Look at this little transparency right here. Spider-Man transparency, kind of like that. Uh, but this right here, guys, what the heck is that? What is that? I don't think that's real. <laughs> I wouldn't bet one cent on that being real. But, I mean, look at this, for example. The Rolex is right there, and then the dial, the numbers on the dial are upside down, aren't they? I guess maybe, oh, okay, it just turns. Uh, I don't know, it turns kind of nice like that, but, mm-mm. That can't be right. That can't be right, but what the heck, guys? <gasps> look at this! A DS! What the heck? Okay, it's a little beat up, but... <laughs> What's this? Micronauts, okay, number 16. More comics. Look at this. Baseball cards or sports cards just thrown in. Diecast cards just thrown in. This is more signs of coins. Guys, this is reminding me of the Jungle Ash Locker. This is getting this is getting insane, right? Here is a coin. Just a nickel. A few more diecasts. Another uh power bank here. Portable battery. Look at this right here. It seems like a cheap watch. But it is Disney, and it's got the film on the back. It's never been used. Tale is old as time. Uh, Beauty and the Beast. What the heck? This is really getting interesting here. Okay, guys, I went through that whole thing, and uh, look at this. Got some coins. There's nothing special there, but this one right here. 1919S, 1937S, 1911. Some wheat pennies. A little bit of foreign coins, it looks like, in there. And look at this Pokemon card back of it's thrash but or whatever this is the front i guess that's the back but yeah it's kind of thrash this right here kim possible 2 little video game game boy and uh this look at this invicta it's in pretty rough shape like or maybe it's in really rough shape uh and the band appears to be broken i think but uh still it's an invicta and it looks it's a nice watch this is some kind of a little bell here Put it aside just in case it's silver. Look at this little roach clip. It's even got a little roach still attached to it, but it is a little, it looks like a little pistol. It's a clip. I like that. That's kind of neat, a little different. But here's some nice chopsticks right here. In this box. Oh, uh, this is a very interesting start. All uh, right, just a few things. This was over there. I thought it was cool. Actually, I saw that when I bought it, and it, I thought, well, that's kind of neat. I don't know. Some more shoes. This is a Nike. This looks kind of nice, too. It looks expensive, if you ask me. Bowerman series is track and field. Uh, large size, right? 11. And um, I guess it's not that large, but the Junk Lance Locker guy, I found some very large shoes in there. I think those are close to like 12 or 13. This piece right here is kind of neat. Baseball by ME Micro Electronics. Vintage piece right here. I think it's from the 70s. All right. Number 560. 301-06 maybe we get a comp on that that's kind of an interesting piece i don't think it's going to have big money but it's neat and then this right here not not a big money piece either but disney a little kids uh denim jacket oh dirty stained but it's princesses and it's nice embroidery ah, looks like someone took a crayon to that or a pen mark right there 
I'll let it go to the market, I guess. That's too bad. That was kind of a neat piece. Uh, digging a hole out here, though. Yeah, digging it, digging it, digging it, digging it, digging it. I'm not filming too much, guys, because I got to move a little bit quicker on this one. This one could devour, seriously, like a couple weeks of time if we filmed everything that come out. So I'm just going to only show you what, you know, the best parts are. I'm going to get in this box right here next. Okay, right here, I've got a, uh, what do you call it? I forget what you call it. Pogo stick, pogo stick. And then right here, a snowboard board, no bindings on it. It's still kind of cool. What's this right here? Some sort of a, I don't know, a sprayer or something? It's kind of interesting. That'll probably sell at the market, I would think. I don't know. Um, got those two chairs out of here. And then um, now that I'm thinking, well, maybe this is the same locker as the, uh, the Junk Lanch. Now I'm thinking, where's the comics? Uh, I think those are albums right there, vinyl albums. But if this is the same guy, Maybe we could have a comic collection buried in here. Very unlikely. Very, very unlikely. Stranger things have happened in this business, uh, so you never know. But I did ask the manager. Uh, she drove by and I asked her, do you know what the guy's name was? And she said, uh, no, because it was like the guy that rented it isn't the guy who stored his stuff. He let somebody else store their stuff in here. So uh, I was trying to get a feel for who it might be, but I don't. Know. I only know a little bit of information about the Junk Lanch guy, but um, I don't know. It, it doesn't sound like it, but there's still potential, still potential. This guy apparently drove an RV. The other guy uh, reportedly drove a van. So maybe, maybe, the other gal said uh, van when she meant RV, like a small RV. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But let's keep digging. All right. This thing is kind of funny. I've never seen one of these before. Got an exercise ball on a little chair cart thingy. It looks kind of comfortable, actually. Only one way to find out. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Not bad. I don't think I'll keep it, but. There's an interesting find right here. Marilyn Manson, uh, I think a concert shirt, let's see. Uh, I don't know if it's a concert shirt, but it's definitely a music shirt. So love him or hate him, there's a little bit of money right there. And uh, yeah, small. All right, <laughs> we're digging in, making some progress. I think this thing is expanded because it jammed up. I couldn't get it to fold. I don't care, it's just gonna go to the, the dump. The dump. This press right here looks kind of interesting. That might be a few bucks. This little tie artwork there. And uh, we have this folding table right here, which was right here. I'm happy about that because um, I don't buy tables. I just keep adding to my table uh, inventory by finding them in lockers. There's a Ken doll right there. And shield your eyes, children. There's some bare buttocks. That's 1989 right there. I think that's kind of decent. <laughs> There's my keeper box right here. This uh, classic monsters right here, Blu-ray sealed brand new i don't think it's that much but uh, put it aside this is a little bit better i'm interested in what's in here this is interesting it's got two dollar price tag on it you probably picked it up at a garage sale or something these little rubber monsters and robots and stuff that's i think vintage right there yeah this guy looks kind of interesting let me get this out and let's look in it okay those are pretty gross what do we got here huh? okay this is funny this is a vaporizer right there. 10 bucks at Goodwill, I think. I uh, found one of these just recently. Kind of funny. I find these over and over. Something for smoking. Smoking. Smoking stuff. Use your imagination if you want. That will almost definitely sell at the flea market. This is kind of neat. It's got a interesting looking necklace around it but it's a little jewelry holder five bucks right there a little metal craft art piece there from idaho i will put that aside i will indeed what else do we have in here this feels empty and it is well there's a comic book x23 it's in terrible condition and lps okay saw that in there i was wondering what it might be and you know what i think i found lps in the other locker too so again it's oh missing persons nice captain it's neil olivia newton john <laughs> barry mandolin new edition it's decent all right cool in the game linda carlisle oh grease oh that's grease too captain and Tenille. Wow, surprisingly, the record is in excellent condition. I totally was not expecting that. And then in with missing persons, look at this, Michael Jackson Thriller. Also in perfect condition except for the thumbprint, the dusty thumbprint I just put on it. So I'll put these back in and uh, we'll take those home and take a look at it. We've been finding a lot of albums lately, so these will probably go into an LP vinyl auction that we'll do coming up soon. Okay, look at this thing, guys. This is so cool. Uh, but it does appear to be missing a seat right here. And this rubber is like real like turning into almost like tar 
but this is a neat piece. Crichton 760. 760, a snow BMX. It says Snow Moto 28 ST. That looks fun. And then this thing right here, look at this. This is some sort of press. Once again, I could swear, oh, this is a corker. See that? It squishes the cork down, and then this thing pushes it into the bottle. And this adjusts for the bottle height. Very cool. Did we not find one of those at the other Junk Lanch Locker? I'm already calling it the other Junk Lanch Locker. Did we not find one of those corker things? I'm not sure. Okay, I'm, I'm making progress. Oh, I just... There's so much junk in here, I can't even see stuff. This is kind of neat right here. A little laundry basket. Yeah, I like that. I like it. I like it. I like it. There's junk falling. There's another TV. That's the second TV. It's probably just going to be a junk TV. Yeah, the screen's all messed up. You just can't store TVs like that. Ooh, look what's below it, though. There's a scooter. It looks like an electric scooter. Um, yeah, it is. But I think the display's missing on it. I think they have a little display that goes on it. I don't know. Uh, but look at this. That buck knife display. That looks pretty cool. And right back there, a little electric buggy for the kids. A little four-wheeler. The guy rigged up his own electricity in here. That's That doesn't look up to code. Not OSHA approved. That's, oh, this is a trailer for a bike right here. Nice, nice, nice. TV mount right here for the wall. And then look guys just back here it's just a it looks like a mess i see a lot of lumber wood these racks got to come out the racks will sell the racks will sell oh man there's a lot of stuff to come out okay we're getting uh getting some progress here look at this guys this trunk right here the, we found trunks just like that in the other uh, junk lance locker again so many similarities and in those is where we found some very good toys like a lot of toys in the box still so this is kind of an interesting piece right here it's like a desk and uh lots of missing Ooh, it's got the green felt on there it's nice uh, that one's they're missing a lot of handles but this one i already peeked in here look at this he left behind a whole bunch of negatives They're under here. Huh, that's a little different. Looks like they took some photos of artwork somewhere. Look at that. That's neat. This is very cool right here. Nature photography. I don't know if there's any value in these. They're just neat though. There's a ton of stuff in here. There's some more in here. Okay. Okay, guys, here we go. I didn't look. I didn't peek. Let's find out right now. No. Nope. <laughs> I was hoping for some collectibles. Oh, but you know what? This is not bad. What do we got here? That's like a little video recorder, an old one. There's a digital camera. Fujifilm. Fine picks. This is cool. Fisheye 2. Hmm. A little bit of electronics in here. There's another camera right there. Micronta. 30 time. Oh, it's a microscope. What? Phillips. Oh, this is this is heavy right here. It's an Olympus. What is this? M1030 SW shock and waterproof. 10 megapixel. That ain't bad. Yeah, this is Oh, I flipped that over. I didn't know what it was. It's a Sega Game Gear. Not bad. Not super valuable. Cracking the screen right there. Missing the two battery covers. You can get those. You can reorder those. So no bigs. Oh, that's cool. Clam Case Pro. It's a little um, keyboard to go with the... Probably an iPad. Ah, it's busted, though. Broke, 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 broke. <laughs> little cell phone camera. Look at that. They took the camera part kind of serious. Hmm, what's this? Pokemon. Yeah, little Pokemon game. All right. Not sure what that is. Another camera. Nikon. Olympus battery charger, that's decent. There's a wireless uh, charging platform there, pretty sure. There's an iPhone right there, iPhone S. Probably a 6S or something, but the screen is wrecked. There's a Motorola Razor right here. This is such a great phone back in the day. There's a Verizon phone with the data card sticking out of it. It's like, take me out, take me out. All right, well, that was kind of fun. All right, I got one of those boxes down up there. It's mostly clothes and not good clothes, except for, this looks kind of decent, Adidas jacket, very nice. Looks kind of clean too. Putting my better clothes in that bucket right there. And then these right here are very interesting. Look at this, 
Team Simpson in low, Office Depot. These appear to be the real deal right here. Racing uh, clothes, maybe f fire retardant, I would think. Unfortunately, the jacket has uh, some fading here, like it was left out in the sun or something. A couple spots there. Too bad, but that's pretty still really, really nice. Look at all the patches on it. That's, this is interesting. Office Depot, Simpson. That is interesting, to say the least, guys. I like it. Let's pause for just a second and reflect on the fact that I paid just a dollar for this. Yes, we're going to have dump fees. Yes, we're going to have many man hours into it, but... <laughs> We're going to have some decent profit coming out too. Next box, Levi's. Yeah, baby. And some American Eagle, which are decent. They're decent. I don't think they sell as well, but there's some Tommy Hill figure. Yep, and there's some more Levi's. Not bad. Well, we're finding some good stuff in here. Let me show you a little more. Besides that, of course, that's pretty cool. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I believe. Or it's a knockoff, I'm not sure. It's from 2012, a little bit newer. And a Transformer, which doesn't seem to be cheap. It seems to be a little bit decent. Some Nerf guns here. What about that, guys? You think that's old? I don't know, it could be. Could be an old tin, or no, mirror, mirror sign. And this box right here is looking kind of interesting. Dockers, brand new, $65. Waste 42, I'm gonna put those aside just because they're brand new. These are too, more Dockers. Well, that's good timing for Halloween. A black cape. That's kind of neat. Champion. That's a neat looking shirt. I really wish I had my GoPro with me right now. <laughs> you guys are probably like, yeah, we wish too. So we can see a lot more of this. Oh, another marshmallow gun. That's fun. Oh, yes. Look at this. Levi's 501. They look different though. 29 by 30s. Ross, 20 bucks. Brand new with tags. That's cool. I found uh, quite a few Levi's that I threw in the other bin. What is this? Miss me. I think these are decent too. What's the price on that? 68 bucks. Not bad. Not bad. What's this? Button up shirt here. Plus Boohoo. Huh. Okay. Brand new tags. Not bad. All right, guys. It's getting a little bit dark. It's getting a little bit late. Facility's going to close. So I got to, I got to ski daddle. Uh, oh, I can't really see it, but I took a couple, I took a good, I don't know, three, four boxes out of that stack right there. Mostly clothes, but mostly good clothes. Like I think half of it I'm putting aside to go to Deanza. Of course, once I get out there, I'm probably gonna be like, why did I bring all these clothes out here? They're maybe no, they're not great, great clothes, but they're pretty good clothes. And I think we get 10 bucks each on them. I mean, at this point, I think there's a hundred pieces of clothing that I'm going to bring out. Probably two large boxes plus some, plus a couple keepers for myself. All right. But anyways, uh, it's going pretty good, but I got to get out of here and uh, we'll come back and keep digging in the next episode.